What's going on guys, my name is Kyle and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the Rode VideoMic NTG, but first, let's make a coffee. Better. Now, if you're like me and you're starting in content creation or videography or anything where audio is required to do what you're doing, I'm sure that most of us can agree that having good audio is, is way better than having a good video. So if you're looking to buy a microphone to start out or if you're looking to upgrade your old audio, this may be a really good option. Nice. So what you get inside this box is this. This is the Rode VideoMic NTG, which is a recent upgrade for me from my previous audio setup, which I'm sure you can see is sitting here on a microphone. Boom. <laughs> now the reason I wanted the upgrade is because I wanted a little bit more mobility in what I'm doing. So if I want to shoot here, I'd never had that option unless I attach a microphone boom to the opposite desk and shoot like that, which I mean works for this setup, but if there's anything else I want to do, there's no real option. I can't take it out to the kitchen. I can't go to another room in the house. I can't go upstairs. There's nothing I can really do without lugging my computer around, which I don't really want to do. I don't think anybody really wants to do that. So having this on top of the microphone and you can take it anywhere you want is obviously a really, really big upside. Now I know with camera mounted microphones, there's so many freaking options. You've got the entire road Obviously inside Rode's catalog of these onboard microphones, you've got the VideoMic Go, the Pro, the Pro Plus, the NTG. There's, there's so many options and I'm sure I've missed heaps. I chose this one solely for the fact that the NTG range of shotgun microphones that these guys have is fantastic. So obviously if you're looking at the NTG name in general, this should be fantastic. And to be bluntly honest with you, it is. <laughs> the audio is going to be a little bit different because obviously I can't shoot with this and show you it at the same time that's why i'm shooting on my my boom arm at the moment but what i'm going to do is i'm going to plug this in we're going to have a quick little look at the audio test and we'll see what you think personally i reckon there's going to be a big difference between this microphone and this microphone but you know we're not going to know until we test it up before we plug this in and go through some audio tests let's just cover roughly what it comes with so inside the box this is pretty much what you get, besides some cables and some chargers and everything else that it comes with, the main unit is this. So what you get is you get their new mount, which is a, a, a shoe mount that sits on top of your DSLR or any camera that you're using. It does have this, this shock mount, which sort of helps reduce any excess noise or excess rumble when you're moving the camera around. You've got a bit of a pop filter or a wind cover. Um, this is great. Snug fit does really take that that sort of breathy noise out of the microphone quality itself. So the microphone itself is is fantastic, in my personal opinion. It's small, it's robust, it's very easy to, to navigate and get through everything that you need to get through, which is probably what we're going to talk about first. So when I was looking for onboard microphones, I was tossing up between the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus and the NTG. Now obviously there's some main differences between the Pro Plus and the NTG, which one of the major ones being is an internal battery. So this one itself charges internally, there's no extra extra battery, there's no removable battery, uh, it's all done internally. So this charges with a USB-C, uh, the battery life itself you can get about 30 hours out of it from what I've read online. I haven't tested that, I still haven't charged it and I've shot a couple of different videos so for me so far it's done everything that I wanted it to do. The Pro Plus is a little bit different because it has a removable battery and you can also power it with two AA batteries by memory. One of the other big differences with this one as well is on the rear of the microphone itself you have a dial and what that dial does is turns up or down the gain depending on what sort of audio level you need so it's much better in the sense of being able to fine tune what you want opposed to going plus 10 dB, negative 10 dB or negative 20 dB which is I'm pretty sure the only options they had, I might be wrong. Now, what what I want to do is chuck this on top of the camera, do a couple of different audio tests and see what the difference is going to be between the shotgun mic and an XLR microphone going through a USB interface. Let's try that. Okay, so at the moment I'm about half a meter away from the microphone. I have the gain on about eight on their level meter at the back. I do have it running at a negative 20 at the moment just so I can fix it in post, but 
Other than that, I'm not really gonna put any other EQs or effects or anything else on this. I am gonna compress it, just get it a little bit nicer and squash some of that extra noise that's in the room at the moment. But this is what it sounds like. So I think it's a little bit of a difference compared to the XLR condenser microphone which again is probably not the most ideal mic to be using in a room like this anyway, but I think the quality and the audio on this itself is, is fantastic in my personal opinion. Not only for the fact that it's, it's completely maneuverable, so I can take this entire setup that I have right now, it's all powered through internal battery, both in the camera and in the microphone itself, but I can take this anywhere. I can take it outside, I can go down to the park, I can take it upstairs, anywhere that I wanna shoot, I can shoot. Whereas with the XLR mic, I don't have that option with my current setup. So. I think the, the pros and cons of having a microphone like this that's set on top of a camera, for me personally and what I want to do in, in the direction of what, what I want to take with the content I'm making, I think it's perfect. The main thing is it gives you options. So whether you're making videos for YouTube, you're making videos for Instagram, you're making videos for clients or customers or whatever the case may be, you have options, you have choice, you have maneuverability, and it gives you a little bit more of a dynamic range to not be so restricted with the sort of content you wanna make. So a couple of the other great features with this microphone does come with a couple of different filters to help you sort of single out individual sounds and noises within your, your atmosphere or your environment that you're trying to film in. So you have a high pass filter, a low pass filter. It also has a safety channel. So what that means is you can record an extra track on top of your original video at negative 10 dB. So if your first track peaks or clips or it's unusable and you're only there to catch that one little moment or you're there to do that one shot or you can only do one take or whatever the case may be or you got one and you freaking nailed it at least you have a backup track at negative 10 so if the first one is unusable you can make something happen with the second and hopefully find some redeemable footage or redeemable audio in there as well. All right, we're gonna get this video nice and super, super sweet. This is the quality of the microphone. I personally like it, I dig it. If you wanna hear more audio tests, please let me know, leave me a comment below. Let me know if this is something that you wanna see more from me, I'm not sure. If you want me to go more in depth into the microphone itself, let me know. This is more of just a basic audio sample. You can hear what the microphone sounds like, get a bit of an idea of what it comes with. If you wanna go more into depth and see what each filter does and what each mode does, let me know. I didn't wanna stretch this out and make it a video that's just packed full of information that no one's gonna retain or really care too much about. So if you wanna join us on anything else, we do run a Discord, you're very welcome to come and join it. I will leave the link in the description box below. If you also wanna check this one out for yourself, I will leave a little link into the Rode website. You can have a bit of a look, see what you think. If you wanna come and check us out on Twitch, we stream at Twitch at the game department. We stream every Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 4.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. So if you wanna come hang out, play some games, talk some rubbish, feel free to do that. Other than that, I'm gonna leave you to it. Have a good morning, have a good night. Bye!